We recently published a paper in leukemia looking at all the evidence for diet and microbiome in uh, plasma cell disorders, just to bring all the data together and to be able to, again, empower patients with the knowledge that's available to date. What we do know is most of the research done in um, plasma cell disorders and oncology is a lot of epidemiologic data, meaning population studies, looking at large populations and looking at dietary patterns and seeing what's associated with diet. We do know in um, many of these large dietary pattern epidemiologic studies that um, healthier plant-based diets are associated with reduced risk of myeloma. So the one study from the UK, the EPIC Oxford study, looked at um, patients with um, different dietary patterns. So they, they categorized them into vegan, vegetarian, uh, seafood eater, and meat eater, and showed that the vegan vegetarian population had a 77% uh, lower risk of developing myeloma compared to the meat eater population. Now, th this is a small study with only 65 myeloma patients in the study because uh, myeloma is a rare disease, but that's only one of the studies we have with uh, data on um, dietary patterns. A lot of the other studies have looked at, um, one of the other studies looked at pre-diagnosis dietary patterns and showed that a healthier pre-diagnosis dietary pattern is associated with a lower risk of mortality. Um, and this, this was uh, published from the uh, Boston group looking at the nurses' health study and the health professionals' follow-up study. Um, Beyond that, most of the studies are much smaller, looking at certain food groups and looking at the effect of diet um, on the outcomes. We also do know, based on microbiome data that's available, that higher diversity of the microbiome is associated with longer survival progression, free survival post-transplant and overall survival. So finding um, interventions that can improve diversity, improve um, the, the bacteria, like healthier bacteria such as butyrate producers, potentially may also improve outcomes further. So we discussed different mechanisms. We also discussed supplements and other things that have a little bit of evidence and how this may these these interventions affect the microbiome and outcomes.